So I was listening to some Bollywood songs. Let me sing one for you. Blue eyes hypnotize tere kar diye menu. I swear choti dress me bomb lagti menu. So this song is about a woman, a beautiful woman who got beautiful blue eyes and who can hypnotize all the men. And when she wears short skirts, she looks like an atom bomb. Anyways, when I was a kid, I used to enjoy these catchy songs a lot. I was like, look at their lyrics, how they are portraying us, like atom bombs, guns, items. Isn't it so powerful and cool? And don't tell me about their movies. Did you see how the villains and the heroes fight over those beautiful girls? Like they are trying to achieve something big, like gold medals. I was so fascinated by those movies and songs. But I had some questions. I was like, why the men are getting all their dream jobs? Why they are achieving their goals and money? I mean, they are handsome too. That means they are the all-rounders. And look at the women, how they are only focusing on their beauty. What about their dream jobs? What about their fightings? I got my answer from a girl who raised me in my childhood. She said, Beauty, well behavior, well raising sins. These are the most important features of a good woman. I was like, okay. Then I got convinced. After that, I started my teenage life. I started watching different beauty pageants. I started watching different advertisements. In those advertisements, when a girl was not so fair, she was not confident enough. She didn't get any of her dream jobs. Then she applied the cream. And boom! She became so fair. She became so confident that she got all her dream jobs. I was like, wow, it's definitely a magic. But I was nervous too, because I am not that much fair. Does that mean I won't get all my dream jobs? At that time, I was introduced with another concept. I was more comfortable with my loose t-shirts and jeans. One day, one of my classmates made a comment. She said, I'm not a good girl. Why? Because I don't hide my hairs, I talk to boys, and I wear this kind of clothes. I got so upset that I started questioning myself. Am I really a bad girl? Should I stop talking to my male friends? Now I'm growing up. I'm becoming a woman. I'm getting all the answers to my questions. No, I was never a bad girl. Just because I used to dress up according to my wish. And I don't have to compromise any of my dream jobs. Just because of my not so fair skin tone. And all the ideas that I was getting from those movies, those songs were completely wrong. I've seen my aunt who was questioned by people when she tried to raise her voice against the torture of her husband. I've seen my sister who recently got promoted and judged by people. Look at her red lipstick. Oh, look how she dressed to impress the boss so that she can get promoted. And what about her excellent result and hard work? Nah, that doesn't count for women. Let me show one more thing. So this is a gift from my aunt. A morning cream. A cream for glowing skin. A lipstick that will suit my color. Very thoughtful. She said to apply this regularly so that I can get excellent marriage proposal from men. So you see how people are trying to shape our future according to their wish? When I was a teenager, I was judged by my classmate. I won't blame her because she was in my age. She said whatever the society made her to say. All the beauty pageants, all the advertisements, which are the most important platform for women to express themselves more confidently, are setting certain criteria for telling someone beautiful. And when we try to raise our voice against all the violence and bad deeds, people raise question towards us. So my question to you is, do you want to see a place where you will be judged by people only based on how, do you, how you look or whatever you are wearing? 
or do you want to see a place where you can shape your future you can achieve all your goals because i think our passion our hard work our ambitions should be valued by people not our beautiful features thank you so does anyone know where to sell this because i think my lipstick suits me the best